Praise God. Amen. Praise God once more. Amen. So this morning we want to thank the Lord because he's been good to us. Ama jakuwa mzuri kwenu. Si amekuwa? Okay, so we are going to sing this song. And it says, uh, Mapenzi yako ifanike, maisha ni mwetu. Ama aje? Okay.
atakuwa nuru ye atakuwa pia nuru kwenyu saa inaimba bwana ni nuru yangu na wimbo wangu amekuwa uoko wangu bwana ni nuru yangu na wimbo wangu amekuwa uoko
Good morning, church. We are now going to talk about the goodness of God.
church uh, the reason you are here today is because God has been with us and I want to sing a song to proclaim that we cannot do anything without you so it, so it goes like this that every worship may be an encouragement 
every worship may raise up hope, King of glory. Every worship may bring out a testimony, Jehovah Jireh. And every worship may lead back to you, King of glory, and that it may bring you glory and honor. We bless your name and we honor your name for this none like you, Jehovah Jireh. I pray this believing and trusting in your son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. beautiful worship. Ah, Najwani mechelewa kuwa karibisha, but welcome. Thank you all for coming. Eh, eh. And now I would like to welcome the Bible readers to come and preach. Bible readers, Our first reading comes from the book of Psalms, chapter 71, verse 1 to 4, and it says, In you, Lord, uh, in you, O Lord, I take refuge. Let me, let me never let never be put into shame. Rescue me and deliver me in your righteousness. Turn your ear to me and save me. Be my rock of my refuge, to which I can always go. Give the command to save me, for you are the rock and my fortress. Deliver me, O God, from the hand of the wicked, from the grasp of evil and cruel men. May God bless his word. Praise God. Praise God again. Let's open our book, Isaiah chapter 11, verse 1 to 5. A shoot will come up from the stump of Jesse. From his roots a branch will bear fruit. The spirit of the Lord will rest on him, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and, and of power, the spirit of knowledge and of fear, of the Lord. Three, and he will delight in the fear of the Lord. He will not judge by what he sees with his, eye, with his eyes or decide by what he hears with his ears, but with righteousness he will judge the needy. He will justice, he will, for, but with righteousness he will judge the needy. With just, with with justice, he will give decisions for the poor of the earth. He will strike the earth with the rod of his mouth. With the breath of his lips, he will slay the wicked. Righteousness will be, will be his belt, and faithfulness the search round his waist. Thank you for the word. Now we are going to, we are going to have the presentations but before that let's have Halima for the announcements
Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord again. So I'm here to tell you that on this evening, come and join us for the acts that we are playing. If you want, come and join us. We'll be playing at 3. Um, another announcement is for the improvements on Wednesday, 6.30. Please join us. And Easter is approaching us. If you want to donate anything, clothes, food, um, go to Mama Jane office, the secretary. And another announcement, um, we are going for a trip at Karura Forest. As teens, if you are an adult, if you want to join us, you're welcome to join us. Um, we are going on April. We only play we only pay 500 shillings per person. And um, yeah, we carry our own snacks, food. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Halima. Uh, and now we welcome the skit. Yeah, they are going to act. The skit is what? Yeah, we welcome the skit. Yes. <laughs> I don't have words. I'll give them a round of applause as they come in. If you want to see more, please you may join us at two. Every age is welcome. Now we welcome the dancers. Yes, they come and perform their dancing.
jibu Itata madei ya ina maibu Kame shika kama ngoma za munishi Vitu safi ya tutaki vitu fishi Ongeza energy kamtu wa medishi Yesu mbele chetani ya tumpishi Tuwaza za kitambo Tukoja za kisasa Florence Chosi. Um, I am the chairperson for teens and Sunday school. I thank God for his mercy and grace. I am here to give a report for, for the teen service, for our teens. Last year, we, we have not had a service from 2020. Praise God. But there's a lot that has been happening from that time. Um, number one, I would like to thank you for every person that prayed for us, that provided chairs for us. Uh, we have 200 chairs. That is a lot. Smujipigema coffee. That is only chairs, Mingi. Sindio? Viti miambili. Sindio? Ama si Mingi? Mingi. So thank you so much. That is one positive. Because uh, from the years, from actually 2020, we have to. So I've been having a number of, now I have a 120 teens. Yes. I have 120 teens. Um, so apart from the chairs, uh, and I, it's a good news. Pasiana semanga ni stress tamu. Pigeni pasima kofi mali yuko. We, our only challenge now is coming that we just need more space. But uh, reason imambe mpige pasi kwa sabu halali, he's working on that. So it is not a challenge, it's a work in progress. Like that is a project that you are having this, uh, this year. Uh, to me collaborate in a development team, na PCC, they are looking into that. So very soon, 
we'll be adding more chairs. Sindel? Yes. Another thing is that we have grown. We have now a TV. Is it Zenyo Nindogo? Is it TV Zenyo Nindogo? Sit on a 49 inch. Pasi Sinim Noma? Yes, Pasi. Pigeni Pasi Makofi. We have to pick up Makofi at a high yuko upper. Lakini Bibi Ake yuko. So, yeah, he has improved our learning to mend that digital, like literally. We have gone digital. We, we have a TV upstairs for the teens. Uh, we use a laptop to project our songs, and we have a, we, nini, we do have a, we also project our preaching. So we thank you for that. We are grateful that you have been part of us. We are grateful that Mumesi Mama na Sisi. Uh, the last thing ni Mumesi kuna picnic, sindo. So after all is said and done, because today this afternoon they'll be having an event, and then they'll be also having an event on the 17th. Uh, that is Easter Sunday. It will be in the afternoon. So come. Um, after the 18th, on the or after the 17th, on the 18th. We are taking them for a retreat. Sawa. Tunenda karura. Tuende tutembe. To detox. Wanenda ku detox. Sipia wanaitaji ku detox. And by the time wanarudi shule, watakuwa like been there, done that. Like let me now concentrate with studies. Fani meisha. Mnaila iso vitu zote. So they'll be having a picnic. Wanaenda karura forest. Um, the charges are 500 per kid. Uh, if you have one kid, no, 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 hey, me, I have five kids more for St. Philip's. You're welcome. Mam Jen Haizi Katape Sayako. We just see Mam Jen on there. I'm paying for so and so plus five other kids. Uh, we, we really need to go. Twenty six sorte. Kuna wale we know 500 is a challenge. Sindo. So, and if you don't have a kid and you'll want to sponsor the, the, the ministry, you'll want them to come here. You are welcome to give your giving at Mom Jane. Sindio, eh, sasa nataka kualika the worship team, wakuje, tuimbe, wimbo moja, tukialika preacher. Worship team. A 
Good church. Praise God. Muna kama boyka boyka. Najua sasa kuna baridi. Tuko tumetunaona juu na tokia tokia kiasi. So tupate hiyo nguvu energy. Unaona amejaribu, amekaa mnaona tu mnasema I'm no longer. Tuko serious wose. So kwa majina ni to John, I'm born again and Christ is my savior. So let's get to the teaching of today. Kauko na notebook kama pencil unaweza andika hii. How to get closer to God. Today we are talking about how to get closer to God. So the first way if you want to get closer to God is give your life to Christ. Yaani kuokoka. Unaona najua ni watu wengi wanasema anga kuokoka ni ngumu ati mi nikiokoka kuna venye ati besta kikama atanambia eh leo kuna dunda twende hivi ai naingia pia mimi na nimeokoka so na kwa, nataka kuambia saa hii kuokoka ni kwa ukitaka kuokoka lazima uwe committed ka for example acha na example tu rais yenye mnezelewa 
for example, your sibling, ama ndugu yako yote, ndo wako chozi ya kosha nyumba, ama ya kufanya kichote kwa nyumba. Alafu, a fall sick. Akwe mgonji yosa. Na lazima, auto wa shambako utambua. Brayo, si unyoshe leo vyombo la funda kosha next, next day. Usingoje mbaka kwa mbivo. We jitole tu, muambie. Wacha nda kosha. Usinyoshe siku yangu. Na kosha tuju, you are sick and you are my brother. Jitole tu. Usingojangi ati kwa mbiwa. Mtafadhali nyoshe, alafu, ati nda kosha siku ingine. Usingoje. So, ukitaka give your life to Christ. Ukitaka ku get closer to God. Lazimu give your life to Christ. You know the first point. The second point. Ni, read your Bible. Penda kusoma Bible. Chukua tu time yako, ka chini. Na uchukue Bible. Usi yende pali ya tuoto na chiza chiza watoto. Tafta time. Pali kuna, yani watoto kukwayat. Hakuna kusumbuliwa. Hakuna kufanywa nini. Enda tu uchukua Bible. Tafta verse yotu na unapenda. Verse 2 yote. Uelewe, ushikanishe, alafu understand. Wenda do research ujua veli na mi nini ndo utelewa. So, your, our second point is read your Bible. Penda kusoma Bible. Usikangi atichini unatoka pa church, unasema, hey yo, ukijana lewa meongea walai, unatoka tu naenda. <laughs> Penda kusoma Bible. The third point is, write out a prayer in a dedicated notebook. Najua, najua kuna maparents hapa wanapitia shida. Wengina school fees na walemea jusa hitu kwa karibu fungwa shule. So, pa, kawe ni parent hapa, chukua tu kitabu tu play. Andika zile shida unapitia. Omba tu kwa mungu. Ka chini, muambie. Oh God, mina komba tu nisedi hizi zote. Hata kama najua nikona watoto watano na niko, school fees ni pesa mingi. Nisaidie tu juu na ju, Na jua wendo usa idia mtu, hata kama saisi na job, nisaidia ndo after kase me uh, next month neza pata job. So, our third point is, write your prayer. Nomba mkwe mnaandika ma mna elewa. Juu na juu. Mna elewa? Sawa. Number four, go for a walk and talk with God. Tembea, sasigiria tembea, nguna joto ingine joko kukwa nyumba ni kolodian, tembea aga. Sia tu tembea wende kujibamba nini, tembea tu, atakamu kwa peke yako. Suna nanga sasigiria tembevi nju, unapata mtu na jongelesho, unashudu ni muenda. Tembea aga, unatembea tu unambia mungu, nye God, kuna challenges mina pitia. Na najua ni wewe ndo mungu unatufanya nga tuwa mke everyday asubui, tuwanei siku. Kuna mtu kwa sayako osi hapa metro. Anangana, anapewa yu oxygen, na breathe. Uu mepewa yu nguvu. Unamkanga kila subui. Unakuju na tembe, unenda dundu, na jibamba. Masema, hey, loli kona, hey, ule mdema meni bamba. Ona. Kuna mtu sayana nangana kutafta. Anajambia, wale singe kwa kaya epia minendizo dunda na jibamba. Lakini, awezi, yezi toka kwa kita. Anajuu yu, yani sickness akonayo, ayezi isha. So, Point number four is go for a walk and talk with God. Share what is troubling you, what you are thankful for, and your hopes and dreams. God always listen. Na jua tu ingina wana sema nga, eh, mini wangelesha mungu na kula kitu inafanyika. Sia ti ukusema, mungu lona daigari, sia ti taruka chini ya nguke. Unafaitu kukua committed, unambia tu mungu, na ukwe patience. Ukwe na patience. Ukusema, God... Najua ata saini kikwambia gari ya yezi anguka, but najua after next one year, two years, neza kuwa na hiyo gari. Na ukendelea hivu kuwa na hiyo hope. Mungu wa natikanga wale atuwa kuna hope wa naamini kuwake. Wajua kuna wale anaanza kusema, God mina wampani kuwa na gari. Wani hiki fika bado wana. E, anajambia wa, sana fanya nini. Sa God uliambia after one year, mungu jianga, be patient. Sunanangadu ukiambia mde, mina kupenda. Unangojaga, akwa bie, I love you too, sir.
Sasa unaona hapo unakuanga patient unangoja eh hey, kwani hata yeye niambia siku gani So let's be patient kwa God Point number 5 Use the gift of God as given you So now what I'm going to practice up hiyo ni gift ya God amewapea Pia mimi ni gift yangu God amenipea nikuje ni wa preach hapa leo God amen gave gift nikuje ni wa preach hapa leo ndo mtu akitoka hapa aseme Enyeu pia kwa kijana anaweza preach pia mimi naweza preach Ukuje tu uoge na pasi mwambie pasi nataka ku preach kesho kuna kitu yani word men touch nataka nikuje niambie watu And the last point is be grateful Always thank God kwa kila kitu unafanya Jia ndo uko amsha yeye ndo uko we imagine unaenda you singizi na kujaje Imagine tu you singizi ukujaje Ukiamka si ati jua ati sister kwa kwa bega amka amka twende Ukiamka ni Mungu ndo uko amsha Mungu anaweza moa leo ukilala utamka God can do anything. Watu wengine unasikia ngawala anasema ati kunanga God. Hadi na shidoga kwa anafikiria kweli. Hakuna aje God. Na yeye ndo aliwajenga. So kitu ya the last point ni be grateful. Kwa tu na thank God. Ukikaa tu chini mwambie yenyewe Mungu mimi na thank kwa kila kitu. Kwa kunitoa toka ni kwa mdogo nitoke kwa mtumba mamangu mpaka ni kwa hapa saa hii na na, na tangila kitu umenifanyia juu naona saa hii angalia sio una vango kuna mtu saa yako hapo nje mama yake alikufa huko na mama na bado una, una bishana mama akwambia ndio shezi vyombo mama kwani wezi amka unaona kuna mtu huko nje anangana kwetu na huo mama hata kama tambo hizo ataosha but huko na mama unateta teta kila saa Usipende kuteta. Yo kuteta saa zingine hadi Mungu apendi. Always be grateful. Juu, wao mama ndo alikuleta hii dunia. Muangalia disk gebuji ambie the last time uliambia mama yako na kupenda. Sunona ni kitambo. Hadi saa hii gebuni kwa ati mama yako ende alale. Before alale uda mama mama na kupenda aje sasa. Sunona ni ngumu. Si rahisi kuambia mama yako Always be thankful. Ju mam dal kulete yo i dunia. Dad dad dal ifali uka kuja. Sa mam dal kutoa. No na. Wate go ote. Lakini sa na thank mam. So the last point is be grateful. Now we are going to talk about the benefit of drawing near to God. The first point is. God will close will draw close near to you. He will take steps towards you. Approach God with a pure heart. Muende tu mwambie, enye Mungu najua niko na sin mingi nimefanya. Kuna dhambi mingi nimefanya na naomba tu ni forgive. Sasa hivi nataka kuwa na new life in you. Mwambie tu hivyo. So when we are, when you approach to him we are to approach him knowing that he is rewards those who honestly seek him ana ana rewarding wala ana wanamseek mungu hezi kukupea gari ka ujaombea hezi kukupea nyumba ka ujaombea hezi kupea watoto ka ujaombea sa always pray to god ka tu chini si moja tu ka chini ujiambie yenyewe mungu eh amenifanya vitu mingi kunto huko jumba ka saa hii hapa kutoa chini mpaka hapa sorry kutoa huko chini mpaka hapa enye huu Mungu amefanya vitu mingi kuna watu sasa wana nguo ya kuvaa mtu anavaa nguo nguo moja wiki ama month huko na nguo huko kwa kabati zingine ndogo hadi zinakufinya bado unangwanga na kukaa nazo sasa zingine tu chukua hizo nguo hata kama mama atakata sema unapeleka wapi hizo nguo mwambie tu mama napeleka chini so makikata Siku moja tu zichukue kijanja. Enda u, enda upeleke children's home, saidia hadi mtu. Juu hivyo do blessings will come. 
ukisaidia tu mtu hivi hivi si ati unasaidia una kasi mesaini kuna sai bra yako janiambie jode uko na hapo mbao nisaidie walai niko njaa sijakula breko na sema mimi niko na chuani na hiyo chuani ilikuwa ni plan niende nifanye kitu mwambie tu shika shika di chuani yote juu ilikuwa na dai kwenda kucheza hapa PS but naona uko njaa msaidia tu mtu usingangalia tu kwenda kucheza hiyo PS utacheza wewe una, unasaidia mtu wa PS unafaidisha mtu wa PS huko hapo utatoka hapo na upande tena uende kwa keja mama japika na kwambia si upike basi unaona so always be grateful to god the second point you will hear god with clarity john 10 verse 4 says when he was brought out of all his own he goes on ahead of them and his sheep follow him because they know his voice so as you get closer to god you get to know his voice for example ukikari sense me nataka karibu huyu nataka karibia janis lazima nitasikia nataka kusikia sauti yake vile na sound nikikaribia alafu nisikia naongea bass sindashtuka na ni mdema aje lazima utataka kujua sauti yake ni gani so lazima ukitaka karibia god lazima god atakuonesha sauti yake ndo ujue and your god and i walk through you so the third point the last point is bearing fruit for kingdom of for god's kingdom john 15 verse 4 says abide in me and i in you as the branch cannot bear fruits of itself fruitless it abides in the vein neither can you unless you abide in me it is only when you abide in christ always that you can bear fruit ukika kwa god kasi unaona ukipanda mti ukipanda mti si ati tamea saa hiyo itakawi after years years ndio to hiyo maembe unataka so ukika kwa god si ati god atakuri ata reveal himself kwa kwa saa hiyo lazima utapitia challenges kiasi na hizo challenges ukipitia ukwe strong si ati ukipitia moja unaanza kukua wika alafu unaambia god what are this kwa hizo challenges unapitia ngangana tu upite kasi unaona hiyo movie ya adi cha sao wewe tuendelee so it is only when you abide in Christ always that you can bear lasting fruit so as you draw near to God he prepares your heart for the calling he has upon your life ukikaribia Mungu anaanza ana, ana Sunajua Mungu alikuja hapa kawacha Holy Spirit. Sasa unafai kufaindi Holy Spirit ndo utakaribia Mungu. Si ati unataka kuendea Mungu kwanza ndo na aliwachukua Holy Spirit. You must find the Holy Spirit first so that you can get closer to God. And our last heading is in order to grow closer to God there are three things you must do. Ndio hilo liko naongelelea. Find the Holy Spirit. Matthew 7 8 says If you can project for me For everyone who asks receives and the one who sacrifices finds and to the one who knocks the door the, the door will be open Sunona ukinoka mlango lazima itafunguka Ukisi kuta fine. Lazima usiki ndo fine. Lazima unoke ndo mlango ifunguke. So when Jesus returned to heaven, he gave us the Holy Spirit. Listen to the Holy Spirit. Once you have asked God to reveal his Holy Spirit to you, you you must listen to him. Mungu akikuletea Holy Spirit, ukifind the Holy Spirit, lazima usike kwenye nasema. Juu usiposikia kwenye nasema juo huo ni kama Mungu anaitumia lazima usikie kwenye hiyo Holy Spirit nasema ndo draw close to God kuna challenges nimwambia lazima upitie na lazima uko strong the second point is spend time in God's word spend time in God's word you must ini mwambia you must read your bible always the bible is God's most precious gift to us 
Hiyo ndio kitu Mungu ametupe sana. Ukitaka ku understand God nani sana? Lazima usome Bible ndio utajua. Venye kitu ufanya ndio utajua yenyewe. Huu Mungu ni miraculous. So, spend time in God's word. You must read your Bible. The Bible is God's most precious gift to us other than the sacrifice of his son. It tells us how we are to find him, how to live. Everything about him is inside the Bible. Nasikia. Kila kitu about God iko ndani ya Bible. Hizo vitu Moses ameandika, pia wamepitiza, pia walipitizo challenges. Before wavuke wa ile nilikuwa Red Sea. Suno na Moses wa kina Farao alikuwa anafuata nyuma na hawakujua Kenya watafanya lakini Moses alikuwa na faith in God. Akaka, akaomba tu Mungu, Mungu akamwambia, "Nona Mungu alikuwa anatumia Moses, akamwambia wewe gonga tu kijiti chini itafunguka mpite." Wakishapita, agonge tena ita, itarudi maji wa swim hapo ndani. So unaona? <laughs> hey, yali vile uta, utasema, si kusuim sasa. Lakini hawali swim, si ndiyo? So when we read it, it helps us. When we read it with the help of the Holy Spirit, verses will take on special meaning and relevance to things we are going through. So ukikuwa na Holy Spirit, hizo challenges unapitia, hauta asikia dikani unapitia kitu juu, uko na strength kwako. Mungu wa mekupeyo nguvu. Endelea tu. Mbaka pali utafika, utakumekaribia God. Tuwa kumedronia to God. Na mungu wa atanzasa kukuyusu. Kauna unasaibi le miana nyusi na wapee preaching. So, and that's the word of God. May God bless you all. Personally, I enjoy na at least I miss Kakitu. Na joingi nwa pa ni Martin so amonge yo language ni sindo yo sheng yo yo sindo. Uh, let's pray. Oh God, we come before you, thanking you for the gift of life that you have given unto us, thanking you for the word that you have let John share with us, O oh Heavenly Father. Let us understand it and keep it in our minds. Let us come and seek your Heavenly Father. And it is in the name of Jesus I do pray and believe. Amen. Now I would like to welcome the prayers, uh, Judy, Joy, Mary, and Katrina. They will pray for the nation, the church, and our families. Prayer for the family. We thank you, God, for the peaceful moments. May your protection and guidance and be upon us and unite us forever. Let thy will be done and your purpose be accomplished upon our future. Thus, let the shame and confusion be upon those who plan evils for us. Amen. Oh, Lord, I come before you this day to thank you for this day. Thank you for God helping us to gather all here in this church of Father. Bless everybody in this church of Father. Help us when we are in problems and also whatever we lack to help, please help us, O oh Lord. Also bless the other churches apart from this one and also help us forever. Amen. Let us, let us say for the nation. Dear Lord, we come before you. We say thank you for our nation, Kenya, that you have given us. You have made the, you have made the coronavirus to end. As, as, we are in this, as we are in the politics here, help us do the politics and help us a little. For in Jesus' name I do pray, believing and trusting you. Amen.
I now welcome the worship team to lead us in praises as we take our offerings. Morning, church. I'm mema, It's not normal. Someone is paralyzed in their bed. The the free things that we see, like he, uh, the oxygen, nini, they are now being bought in the hospital. Like uh, someone is in our oxygen gas. But now we are going to see the way of God. I am ekufanya. Smameni, 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 smameni. Kwa wakati wafuraha tu We mawako pia wakati hata wa machozi We mawako haupimiki kwa majira fulani tu we mawako wakila wakati na kila nyakati Hata sasa ni mwema Tunapo imba ni mwema Tunapo lia ni mwema Tunapo cheka ni mwema Tunapo kwanda ni mwema Tunapo vuna ni mwema So wewe ni mwema, umwema Wewe ni mwema Wewe
God aku bless. God aku bless. Unaenda fa. Na at some point daita mchungaji akuombe. Hata kama hakuwa ukihubiri na sasa aski atakuombea. Utaenda fa. We really want to appreciate you, our preteens and our teens. It's been good hanging out with you. We are almost coming to the end of the service. But I want to ask, do we have uh, people in the church who live in Buruburu Phase 3, Buruburu Phase 5, and other estates? Do we have them? We are having a meeting today immediately after English service, a very crucial meeting, Pale Kwa Vicarage Grounds. Uh, in case, in case, auta eza kumek, kindly, utatuona mimi na beti yaende, apa tu inje ya vestry. In case, unaona huta make kurudi back, because we have crucial things to discuss. Now, today, having been a very special day for the teens, I want to do something without following protocol. I would like to invite one parent to come and pray for these teens. And then just before the parent comes and prays for the teens, these teens have teachers who are behind their molding. So, Madame Florence, please. Could you to introduce kwa walimu ama Wa, watoto wanajifunza. Okay, sawa. Ili tuweze kujua. And then if you have teens around you and probably they don't come for the service, this is the time to do the recruitment. You will see her. And then we are going to have your teens come for the service. Um, praise God. Amen. Praise God once more. Eh, hii kazi yote mimi hata sifanyangi anything mimi mimi nazungukanga nikipeleka tu watoto service kuna wale the, like they do 
the heavy lifting. Um, we are going to start with Cleaver. Cleaver, please stand. <laughs> Clap for Cleaver. <laughs> See, Mama. Cleaver is, uh, first of all, he's my vice chair. Uh, he is part of uh, preaching. You preach, you play keyboard, he talks to boys. Uh, if I cannot talk to boys, Cleaver does. He, he does that for, for the teens. Thank you, Cleaver. God bless. I do not take you for granted. And then we have Allen. Allen Simama. Yes, Alan plays, uh, oh, I forgot to tell you, took on a bass guitar. So he plays the bass guitar upstairs for us. Yes. Uh, he also teaches. You're teaching bass guitar. Sindo, kuna, kuna nani? Elna. Elna is taking lessons from Alan. So if you need lessons for bass guitar, mtu yuako kiona anapenda music, Alan is the guy. And then we have Timon. Where's Timon? <laughs> hey. He's just for hire. See what you Vic. Sawa, Brio. Timon is just for hire. So Timon is also, uh, he plays the guitar. Uh, we hired him up for youth service. But eh, wakati Allen hayuko Timon anaenda uko juu to represent. He also teaches uh, guitar lessons. So if your kid is interested in music, Timon is the guy for you. Thank you, Timon. Mpigeni makofi. I wish, I wish David Ogara was here. That guy is awesome. The moment tulipewa guitar na, I think, alikuwa ni Rona, he picked it up and taught it taught himself how to play the guitar. Sawa. And Sai ana, anafundisha wengine. See, that's amazing. And then I think Mr. Wanjao is out. Yuko. Mr. Wanjao. Eti. Mr. Wanjao comes and even say hi. Now, I'm in a menu of a shadow. There's, there's, a, there's another person. Unana, how my dem were member? Kuna kulkwa nam dem and ofanya. As in, you know, see, see, there are the highs and lows. And I to our sweet Annie. Annie, no, Anna to say, Dianga Quimba, see, Mama, what to a quone. Ani anasaidia nga kuimba. Ani also talks to the girls. Last time nilikuwa nongea na girls, alikuwa nasama, kai, Ani anakuanga msweet. Eh, nikasama, I took the opportunity, because a sweet person you take advantage of. Nikombea mkiwa na shida. Like, if you feel you can't talk to, Ani is the guy. So, Ani is the one who holds us down. Like, for real, for real, Ani holds us down. So, yeah, Ani, we don't take you for granted. Uyu ni wa Sunday school. But I cannot go without saying, like, the amazing work she does for Sunday school. If you have kids work on Sunday school, wao wanakujanga na coloring. Sindio? The printing, the printing. Sindio? Yeah? Wazazi? Yeah. So this lady, uh, short testimony, 2020, I want to join Sunday school. Sindio? And then, unfortunately, some things happened, but 2021, when she came, she came with a bang. I do not have anything to pay her, but the work she does for my baby, zero to five years, is amazing. So, when I say her name, Tumpige Makofi. Sindo. And it's on Marianne. I'm beginning. So, Marianne, like, yena nafanya mwone, ni nafanya kazi. Like, she, she will call me in the middle of the week. I have sent prints to so-and-so. Please go pick them. Prints diko na kawada pochini. I need colors. Do this. Like, 
anani keeping on my toes she really does and then kuna mtu akakuja aka join team yetu aka nimba flow i want to do something for the teens i want to i mwaka tukoe na kitu for the teens everything that you have seen here was coordinated me was just a helping hand was coordinated but by Brian our youth chair as in, he laughed, like he came up with a plan everything from the song to the dance to the skit to how this thing will run for our concert that is in the afternoon Brian is the mastermind Brian thank you i do not take you for granted may god bless you Alafu kuna ule mse like big man zoo. Ni bazu. I am not a teen anymore. Wakikuza anaitwa Pasi. like mini na shine uko nje kwa sababu pasi ni kiana sama yes 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 you can have it you can have it you can have it like nataka yes nataka yes nataka yes like everything that you're seeing here um we are going to have food they have been having snacks during the week the tv the what the what like everything the printing we take like almost uh, i think 1000 to 2000 for printing every month Nani kena ni namwambia anasema I need this and say no that's that's petty cash and he sends it off for your kids to learn see that's amazing akikuja pasi pasi anakuanga hivyo aki alafu tutaita mama mchungaji amuombe si ndio because we need to bless this guy mimi nilimwambia nataka kai st philips bishop akizungusha watu asahau kuna mtu st philips si ndio praise the lord bwana yesu asifiwe ah tuko online ama watu wa online wao wanasalimiwa aje <laughs> yeah we appreciate that you are with us hii ni habari mkutasiri ah tuko kwa ibada sorry <laughs> now uh, i believe you've enjoyed the service are you happy with what our children have been able to do do you think they can be able to do better yeah i'm also quite happy and uh, i really thank god for what the volunteers in the teens and preteens ministry are doing and i'm really hoping and praying that would be able to get better uh i would not want to lose any of these children yeah i would not want to lose not even a single one and for me not to lose them i must keep them in in church and for me to keep them in church <laughs> i need i need money kwani <laughs> mmejua yeah but it's it's embarrassing that for all these activities that they've been doing and there is also another one on on the 17th it's so embarrassing that we shall have only spent i think ikifika 100 i i highly doubt but it could be a hundred or slightly above a hundred thousand that is the only amount when i'm speaking this mzianze kufikiria ati ni sehemu nimetoka ndi nafanya nionge hivyo by the way it's embarrassing for me to stand and say that that is the only amount that i've spent on these children my desire is that and the day that i would start being happy is that day that at least i would be spending a million nearly on children's ministry that is that is the only time that i would speak confidently and please njoro make sure ume edit hapo you stuck in the online that have only spent 100k on these children is that okay 
I'm, I'm very serious about this, that if we get to a point that we can be spending a million annually on these children, you'll be surprised on what is going to happen. Yes. Sawa sawa. Yes. I'm always very weak to deny a child anything, especially if it's for a good cause. My elders are so good, they've also been very supportive. But sometimes the limitation really makes us feel so frustrated. Is that okay? On the 8th of May, we'll be having a Sunday school Sunday. This was teen Sunday. And on that Sunday, I want us to raise money for these ministries. Is that okay? Are we together? Kwanim yeah. Menyamaza? Eh? Na Asha Ebum Funge Yom Lango. Kampaka Wakubali Akwamba. On 8th. Of May, we'll be having Sunday School Sundays. We'll also be ministered to by children, and I would also want us to raise money for them. Is that okay? So the reason I'm standing here, I want guests from this service. When you are jitolea ya kwamba mini kotayari kwamgeni, I want to help the vicar spend one million on children every year. Can you stand if you are that guest? I'm not saying that you give a million. You want to help me raise this million. Thank you. Thank you. Please stand. Uh -huh. Thank you. Asante. To Simame, those who want to support this ministry on the 8th of May. Thank you. Asante. Somebody help me note their names and numbers. Move very fast. Nisaidia kuandika majina yao so that we'll be able to remind them. Na wanze na jina langu. Ah, anza na jina la Grace Indi atakuwa visitor. Mini pastor ya watoto. Please, please, can you stand if you want us to be, you want to be a guest on that day so that we raise this money. Smama tafadhalu kita kwa mgeni. It's not about how much, but you can be able to reach out to your friends and tell them that we want to improve the children's ministry in St. Philip's Church. I need about a hundred people from this service. Tafadhali smameni. Nantambia ashas wafunge mlango hatuendi mpaka nipate watu miyamoja. Eh, ni wewe naongea kuhusu. Wewe, 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 unaniangalia. Those who'd want to be guests on the 8th of May. Unataka ukue mgeni. Tafadhali simama. Wengine bado wanaendelea kusimama. Asante sana. Thank you, thank you. Please, Usibaki Umeketi. You never know. Maybe you have a son who would marry one girl from these teens. Eish. At Yemen. Okay, I mean in the next 25 years, by the way. <laughs> sawa, sawa. Please, Usiachu Enje, if you want to be a guest. Or you can even help us get a guest on that day. Okay. We'll be writing to remind you about that. And so those of us that have remained seated, I declare you assistant guests. So on that Sunday, 8th of May, Tafadhali, let us all come ready to support the children's ministry in St. Philip's. We are going to get to that point where we spend that money. Because if we are to invest in them, if you've just seen the talents that are here, if we are to invest and develop these talents, I can tell you for sure we have to spend. And the parents who are here, you'd agree with me that a greater percentage of your salary goes to your children. Ata mimi. Yeah? A greater percentage of our income goes to the children. Lakini ukiingia kanisani, Unapata, watoto wamepewa kakitu kadogo tu. I don't think I will have such a grace. I'm too weak. I do not have the strength to withstand that. I have accepted I am weak in that manner. Is that okay? So please, on the 8th of May, we are purposing. Probably the movement should be helping the vicar to spend a million on children every year so that we are able to invest in their lives. We keep them in church. And when we grow old, that I can no longer stand here, I'm very sure that there is a child amongst these children that would be the vicar at SK St. Philip's, that would be the elder uh, in the finance and in the PCC. We must attain 
that, and we must be very deliberate about it. Is that okay? Yes. Amen? Amen. Yes. Okay. Now, just before we pray, we have a lovely lady here with the final performance, Karibu. And after this, then we are going to make a prayer. And I was told that Gracie is going to pray for us all. Praise the Lord. Before, before you uh, us, and uh, we are very gifted. amesema tuna tuna tumefanya collab na yeye <laughs> na sasa ni nini we <laughs> so tumefanya collab na yeye ukitafuta CD zetu unaweza enda hapo <laughs> hivyo utaziget kwa YouTube unaweza kututafuta huko na jina yetu you can follow us on Twitter hey, hey amen hey amen just look at that gift but again, so embarrassing that we can't get a holder. We need Flo to hold the Anini for them like this. So that's why I'm saying we must be deliberate in spending on these children. Is that okay? Sawa, sawa. So I would ask us to stand. And by the way, finally, on Tuesday, in a farm kuja yapa, you'd be appearing, there would be a recording that would be done here by Kubash. Uh, on Tuesday and I, on Saturday they would be appearing on KTN home so please allow your children to come <laughs> sawa, sawa. it's all right so Gracie you are requested to make a prayer for us all and now I would ask all the children who participated the praise team those who danced who are here so that we pray for you as we wind this service Also, their, their teachers can also just join them at the front as we make this prayer. Give thanks with 
with a grateful heart give thanks to the holy one give thanks because is given jesus christ his son give thanks with a grateful heart give thanks to the holy one give thanks because he's given Jesus Christ, his son, and now, love the weak, say, I am strong, and love the poor, say, I am rich, because of what? The Lord has done for us. Give thanks. Mighty and everlasting Father, we worship you, we honor you, we glorify your holy name for whom you are in our lives. You are great, you are mighty, you are holy, and you are powerful, Jehovah God. We want to thank you, Father, for this wonderful day that you have made for us, that, Father, we rejoice and be glad in it, O oh God. We thank you for your faithfulness. We thank you for your love. We thank you for your mercies that are new unto us each and every morning. We thank you, Father, for your compassion, the concern that you have for us, O oh Lord. We thank you for the joy of salvation. Loving Father, we are humbled before your presence. Acknowledging that, Father, we are not worthy even to call upon your holy name. How we plead for your mercy and forgiveness. In all areas of our lives that we've sinned against you, we pray, but Father, that you may forgive us. King of all glory, we thank you for your precious blood that you shed at the cross at Calvary. We pray that you may wash us, you may make us holy, Jehovah Father, for you are holy. Daddy in heaven, we want to thank you, loving God. For the gift of children you have blessed us with, O oh God. Thank you, Father, for this teen's ministry, Jehovah Master. King of all glory, we want to appreciate you, Father, for how you have taken good care of our children. And loving Father, I want to thank you for their lives. Thank you, loving God, Father, even for their purpose, O oh God, and the reason of their existence, Jehovah Father. How I uphold each and every one of them unto your mighty able hand. Father, as young as they are, Jehovah Lord, as tender as they are, we surrender them unto your mighty able hand. We pray about Father that, Lord, may you continue to walk with them. May you continue to guide them. May you continue to lead them, Jehovah Father. Lord, even as your word says, how can a young person keep you his way pure, Jehovah Lord? And your word says that is by hiding your word in, in his heart. Lord, I pray, Jehovah God. Father, even as they continue to seek your face, O oh Lord. Father, in their services, Jehovah Master. That, Lord, you may help them, O oh Lord, to understand your word. And most, O oh Lord, Father, even to, to keep the O oh God in, your, in their hearts. That, loving Father, your word shall be their guiding factor. That, Lord, your word shall guide them, shall lead them. Father, in each and every move and step that they make in their lives, we surrender their lives unto your Lord. We pray about, Father, that, Lord, may they never lack anything, Jehovah Master, because you'll continue to be Jehovah Jireh unto them, O God. Father, I pray, King of all glory, that you may keep them my way, my Father, away from any source of harm, Jehovah Lord. That, loving Father, you may preserve their lives, Jehovah Master. Lord, may you continue to bless them, that, Father, they may grow in wisdom and stature as you grab, Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, loving Father. Even for the activities that they are having, O oh Lord, we commit them to you, Jehovah Master. We pray, King of all glory, that it will draw them, O oh God, closer and closer to you, O oh God. All for the honor and glory of your holy name. We want to appreciate you, Jehovah Father. Even, Father, for those that loving Father this morning, Father, they have participated, O oh God. 
Father, in worshiping you, O oh God, in praising you, O oh Lord, and in each and every activity, we continually surrender them to you. Praying, Father, for your infilling of your Holy Spirit upon them. That you will continue to empower them, Jehovah, Father. That, Father, they will grow, O oh God. Father, from one glory to another. All for the honor and glory of your holy name. We thank you, Jehovah, Father, even for their teachers, Jehovah, Lord. We surrender them unto your mighty able hands, O oh God. We pray, Abba, Father, King of all glory. Even as they dedicate and devote their lives, O oh Lord, into nurturing these young um, souls, Jehovah Father, that will continue to fill them with your Holy Spirit, that will continue to empower them, Jehovah God. Father, may you continue to minister unto them, O oh God, even as they minister to these precious uh, children, O oh Lord. We commit their lives unto you, O oh God. We pray, pray for special blessings upon their lives. We pray, Father, for special anointing upon their lives. We pray, Jehovah God, that, Lord, you will continue to cover them with your precious blood, that no weapon of the evil one shall prosper upon their lives. Father, Lord, we thank you, King of all glory. Father, for what you are doing over their lives, King of all glory. Thank you so much, Jehovah, even for the parents, King of all glory. We want to thank you, Jehovah Master. Father, for the precious gift that you gave unto us, O oh God, these children. Lord God Almighty, we pray even as parents, you'll help us, O oh God, Father, to take good care of our children. Father, may you guide us and lead us, that, Lord, we may be good stewards, Jehovah Father, who will continue to to bring up these children, Father, in the knowledge of you, O King of all glory. And that, Father, they shall be pleased, O God, Father, with you. We bless you, Jehovah, Father. Provide for each and every parent, O God, that they may lack nothing, O God, Father, to provide for their children. That these children, Father, shall grow, Jehovah, Father, holistically, O God. Father, for the honor and glory of your holy name. We bless you and we honor you. Daddy in heaven, we want to thank you even for our vicar. Gracious Savior, we thank you for his life. We continually pray, Jehovah Father, even as he offers leadership in this church, that you'll continue to grant him favor, that you'll continue to guide him, that you'll continue, Jehovah Father, even to uplift him. Father, from one glory to another, Jehovah Master, for sure he can never make it without you, O God. We pray that you may fill him with your Holy Spirit, that, Father, you shall order his steps, O Jehovah Father, that you always will influence each and every decision and everything that he makes pertaining to this church. And Father, we pray that your will and your purpose for us as a church, Father, shall come to pass, Father, for the honor and glory of your holy name. We give you praise. We give you honor and all adoration. For this is our humble prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, we can all rise on our feet, please. Now I pray that Christ, the son of righteousness, scatter the darkness from before your path and the blessings of God Almighty, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit to be with you and remain among you always. Amen. Beloved of the Lord, as you go, go in peace to love and to serve the Lord. In the name of Christ, amen. Thank you so much and have a lovely week. If you decide in the course of the week you want to be a guest, kindly contact uh, the vicar's office and we'll be able to uh, get your contacts. Asante.